All ready to go? I am. Hey? Here we go. It's going to be pretty awesome, eh? Us old girls can uh, go fishing for the day without a boat. Yes. Hey? Okay. How good is that going to be? It's going to be awesome. What a great day for it. Oh, I know. It's going to be 30, 30, 32 up there. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's awesome, all right. We would like to acknowledge the Narunga people, the traditional owners of country throughout York Peninsula, and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters, and culture. We pay our respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. This is known as the BHP Jetty, and it is still open to ships today to cart dolomite and salt from Price back into Adelaide. The Ardrossan Jetty has a really good reputation all around South Australia. Here you can get some squid, yellowfin, tommies, there's even mulloway off the end. Here's a handy hint, if there's squidding all over the jetty, that's where you want to go squidding. And it just so happens that these squidding spots are right underneath a light. People travel from far and wide to do some fishing off this jetty, so let's meet a few. So you prefer to use um, pilchards as a bait? Pilchards yeah. or whiting heads or carp. Yep, or carp. I saw the carp there. Yeah. We have a great setup. We have a wonderful oh, setup. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Baby changing table. That's a freaking awesome idea. Now that's recycling at its best. Yep, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of time and effort that goes into making transport to get all your gear down onto the jetty. These guys have got an awesome setup and it also includes an aerator for their salmon. Meet Errol and Elaine. They're from Mitcham and they make the trek up to here all the time for crabs. Yeah, they're all, they're all sized. Yeah, he's well lost and truly. His, he's lost his claws. The sheep. Yeah. She's lost she's their claws. She's lost their claws. There is a big one. Yeah. Oh, they are good size. Yeah. So, and do you guys Just come... reach size. You guys come up here very often? Oh, yeah, in the season we do. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We usually come up about, oh, sometimes once a week, sometimes once a fortnight. Yep. Yeah. But, you know, have we, have we got a, a secret, secret recipe? recipe? <laughs> yeah, white wine. Oh, oh we like wine. Oh, <laughs> you need that recipe. <laughs> From there, we head eight k's down the road to James Well. Oh, Rose is in a hurry, Trace. Yeah. In a race. Eh? We have quite a day ahead of us. We now need to go and get some clickers, so we've got bait for yellow from whiting this afternoon, and we're also hoping for a good feed of crabs. So that's our day planned. All right, where's the hole? Yep. There it is. There it is. One clicker. So there's a little underground network in here. So as we put that one in and suck up, oh, see the other hole. holes all come open? Oh, yeah. So there's nothing in there. We'll try this one here. Oh, there's one. There's one here, Rose. Oh. Clickers grow to about three inches in length and they do have a big claw. Now, if that claw gets you, it does hurt, so be aware. The girls are having a ball and it doesn't take them long to catch on. There are no bag limits with bass shabbies or clickers. This one is a female with eggs. So we choose to let them go. Right, we're ready for the raking experience? Yeah, absolutely. You got your measurers? Yeah. Measurers. <clears throat> we got our crab weight rake? Yeah. Yep. All right, now Rose, and you've got- I've got the counter. Counter. Make sure we don't have an illegal amount of crabs. Awesome. And we've got the tub, which is tied to your waist, so it will float in the water. When raking, just keep an eye out for that grey patch because that's where your crabs will be. There's no need to rake up the sea floor and ruin all the grasses as well. You'll see their claws just sticking up slightly. There's a whole outline of them as they tuck those claws into their body nice and close. 
I didn't put this one on the right because he's a bit small. But he's pretty good talent. He's a pretty good superstar. This is a female crab and she's protected. These are her eggs and there's millions of them. She can only breed when her shell is nice and soft. She will actually hatch these out at night time because that's what they do. They live for around three years and they can breed about six or seven times in that period. And you don't have crabs. <laughs> well, technically I could. So I can't even get up because it's so soft. Want me to help you? Nah, it's alright. I'm wet anyway, so what does it matter? Tracy found this cobbler, or a catfish. Apparently, if you catch them on a line, they put up a really, really good fight. And they're supposed to be good eating. But I think I might take a rain check on that. Razor fish are fairly common around this area as well. You're only allowed 25 a day each. They're delicious to eat. They will cut your feet. So always make sure you're wearing good footwear. So we're feeling pretty relaxed right about now, Trace? Oh, so relaxed. Yeah, it's been an awesome day, Trace. So it's been really, really good. And this just caps it off. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's like 32 degrees, absolutely stunning weather. Absolutely all, beautiful. All I needed now is a nice little bucket. Yep. So down here at the boat ramp at James Well, it's a boat ramp there. Catch yellowfin. Garfish, mullet, tommies. I was simply amazed when I was playing this back at the amount of bait fish that we caught on video. Little fish trace. So girls, we got nine crabs and one yellowfin whiting trace. Yes, that's my bird. We've been away like 12 hours. We've had a good time, my trace. Was it worth it? We've had oh, a yeah, relaxing absolutely. day. It's worth it if you want to just relax and not worry about what you want to catch. It's been a beautiful day. We've yeah. had a fabulous day. We have. An awesome day. Yeah, absolutely. So now it's time to head back to the big smoke. And just like that, our day at the beach with no boat was over. But gee, we had some fun. So you know, you don't always need a boat to take advantage of the water, of catching fish and getting out there and having a great time with your friends. There's plenty of Airbnb accommodation and other accommodation available up here at James Well. So check it out. <laughs> <laughs>